A very good afternoon to you guys Dinesh here welcome back to the my channel Dinesh tutorial let's start um guys uh, in this question uh, we are going to have an important question about the chapter number 6 that's your surface tension so let's discuss the important question of the surface tension uh they have been asked in this chapter they've been asked like uh, define the range of molecular attractions all two marks range of molecular attraction yes sphere of influence they also ask up so just have a look this is a range of molecular attraction and the sphere of influence range of molecular attraction is that point up to batch if i have one molecule another molecule is attracted towards that the range is 10 to to minus 9 meter so just go and have a look at this question again guys uh just for the sake have a look at the what do you understand by the surface tension define and explain the surface tension they ask for the definition purpose so surface tension is defined as a force per unit length acting at the right angle to the imaginary line drawn on the free surface of the liquid so tension is nothing but your f by l so please guys go through the definition part coming back to the derivation guys surface energy yes this is also one of the important question for the surface energy ga right here i need to derive the surface energy which is nothing but your e is equal to t delta m so they are asked for the derivation purpose guys a very important question which has been latest been asked is the angle of contact please do the angle of contact a question and the characteristic this is all Every time they ask it, two to three characteristics that should, I should know it. Angle of contact is changes for right. If I have a different material, if I have a different liquid, the angle of contact changes, right? If you observe mercury, the angle of contact is different. If you observe kerosene, the angle of contact is different. So please do this question, right? As well as it also depend on the medium which is surrounded by that liquid. Its angle of contact, how much will be, angle, how much will be. Again, guys, it is decided by the medium in which I have kept. Either kept it in air, either kept it in vacuum, either I kept it in glass. So, angle of contact change according to a medium also. Okay. As well as by changing the temperature and impurity of the liquid, angle of contact again, guys, changes. So, please do this question, which is very important. Another, guys, important question is that like a, a free surface of the some liquid. I need to. I have been given a some. Uh, Need to draw some diagrammatical representation. If I take a, a mercury in the glass of water, with the angle of contact and how the angle of contact is, how I represent the cohesive force, how I represent the cohesive force. Right? If I take a pure water, this very pure water, right? What will be the angle of contact? What will be the FA? What will be the FC? How they work it out? So please do this question. Question is, sir, sir, I will ask you to explain why the free surface of some liquid in contact with solid is not horizontal or Explain the formation of concave and convex surface of the liquid on the basis of molecular force. Guys, so please do this question. Okay. Coming back to the guys, pressure inside the liquid. Please do that. P I minus P naught is equal to two P by R. This question. It's a derivation. Guys, coming back to the next question. Uh, two marks. The question is that um, cause of the capillary action in the capillary tube. Here I have been given a bucket which is filled with uh, some of the liquid. I need to put out the tube, right? A tube can the of course, guys. If your liquid agar rise over, that means your outside pressure is much higher than inside pressure. That's the reason your tube, which is water, is going to the tube above. It's move out and the tube inside will flow and it will rise in the capillary. Liquid will rise in the tube inside. It will start rising. Now, here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter bottle. Here I have a two point one two liter And the point D, which is outside the tube. Now, if the liquid rises in the tube, that means, guys, of course, your pressure, which is B, is high, right? Pressure B is low, and the pressure D is more. So, water is being pushed out, and the liquid is being rising. So, here, I will write down pressure at D is greater than pressure at D, right? So, please do this, right? Guys, again, the derivation part. Uh, you can do the derivation also as well as the most of the numerical laws. I express expression for the capillary rise. So H is equal to two T cos theta divided by rho G R. A hundred percent numerical. You can ask on this question. So please do this. Have a look. It's a very simple expression. Yes, guys. Talking about the numerical part, they ask you the tension base sums. Push the upko. So tension base sums. करके जाओ. Tension का formula is force per unit length. ठीक है. Length अभी मुझे ऐसा दिया जाएगा. Fine. ये एक bubble है. उसका circumference इतना है. तो L is nothing but represent your circumference. Circumference is your two pi R. Right. अगर वहां पर लिखा है सोप सॉल्यूशन तो ऑफ़ कोर्स मैं एल की जगह सर्कमफ्रेंस लिखो विच इज टू पायर इट्स सोप सॉल्यूशन सो इट्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू बिकॉज द सोप सॉल्यूशन का जो फ्लिम होगा फ्लिम फॉर्म होगा वो आगे भी या फॉर्म होगा पीछे भी सो गाइस सर्कमफ्रेंस टू पाई आर मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू इट्स सोप सोल्यूशन अगर सादा पानी दिया गया ऑफकोर्स सर्कम फ्रेंस एल का वैल्यू आई विल गेट बाई टू पायर सो प्लीज डू दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन 
अगेन गाइस यहाँ पर पूछा जाए एनर्जी के सरफेस एनर्जी के रिगार्डिंग उसका फॉर्मूला मैं आपको बता दूर डेट इज योर टी डेल्टा एम दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो आस्ट सो प्लीज डू दिस क्वेश्चन एस वेल ओके गाइस देन प्रेशर्स के फॉर्मूलास आपको पूछे जाते हैं प्रेशर दैट्स योर टू टी बाय आर जो आप डेरिवेशन करोगे न्यूमेरिकल इसके ऊपर पूछे जाते हैं देन गाइस डोंट मिस आउट योर फेवरेट वन डेट्स योर राइज इन कितना राइज हुआ डेट्स एच इज इक्वल टू टू टी कॉस डेटा डिवाइड बाई रोज या प्लीज डू दिस That's it guys. Uh, last and final, आपके इलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड के भी कुछ क्वेश्चन है यहाँ पर सो प्लीज हैव अ लुक विच इज मार्च फिफ्टीन में पूछे गए राइट मुझे सर्फेस टेंशन दिया गया जीरो डिग्री का और उसका दिया गया सर्फेस सेवेंटी पॉइंट फाइव आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट द सर्फेस टेंशन पच्चीस डिग्री पे कितना होगा राइट सो अगेन गाइस आई विल यूज गोइंग टू टू टी टू माइनस टी वन इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू टी वन डेल्टा टी So, इस इक्वेशन से मैं सॉर्ट आउट कर सकता हूं सर इतने पे अगर इतना सर्फेस टेंशन था तो इतने पे कितना सर्फेस टेंशन देगा सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो आस्क विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ योर लेवन स्टैंडर्ड ओके गाइस दैट सेड गाइस सो स्टडी वेल ऑल द बेस्ट गाइस स्टे ट्यून फॉर द मोर अपकमिंग इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चैप्टर ऑल द बेस्ट गाइस टेक केयर